ended up framing with, you start with plywood as a pattern. I use plywood as, as the frame, that's what we're using here. This will be a little flimsy because we're inside, it depends on the size, what materials you use for the framing. Um, but what I'm going to do here is just use the plywood. You always start with the plywood. So I've just got a trammel stick and I'm measuring down from up here. This is my radius. 3 feet 9, 15 sixteenths, making a mark. And I already put a hole in there. You can drill a hole or put a screw hole there. And that will be the pivot point for my circle, for the radius. Now I'm going to position it. I want about four inches up here, four inches left. If I positioned it all the way up, I wouldn't have anything left. I need something up there. So I'm going to come down about four inches. So I'm going to screw this. Right in there, the pivot point for my radius. I'm down exactly four inches. And then it's simply a matter of borrowing somebody's pencil. <laughs> I keep giving mine out. I'm going to go over a few times so that you can see it, how dark it is. Oh, you know, I'm going to keep that. There are plenty more in that box if you want a pencil. So I went four inches down. And my height was 24 inches. That was the height that I'm allowed there. So I'm going to go down the four inches and then another 24 inches. So to do that, you get your construction master out, 24 plus 4. I'm not at that point yet, but pretty soon I will be. 28 inches. And this is one rib that I'm making. This is one pattern that I'm snapping here. So that's our segment. And what I did, I positioned it so I have about four inches here. That's where the wall will sit. It'll sit on the wall there. I want to do the same thing over here. Measure about four inches over. See what I have left. It's about eight and a half, eight and five eighths, and square that off. So that's the segment. That's my rib right here. That's my pattern. We have... <laughs> you want to hold this there? Seventy-nine and seven... No, almost eighty. Just it's a sixteenth under eighty. Uh, so I'm right at eighty. I'm right at my width. And the height I know is twenty-four. So that's how I take a segment out of a circle, and that's how we find the height of it.